picture this underneath the margins your words can breathe got your listeners tilting isosceles the way you holding volcanic quills spitting decrees better believe with flows like these you got gills screaming at daffodils or dreaming in mandrills derivative of skills you're built in the workshop rocking with rock cause in life the woodshed don't stop it don't stop it don't stop don't stop Amen to that dream, that early morning conversation, the argument that birthed the idea, that unbelievable situation, the story that had to be told somehow. Some ideas, they shake you out of your sleep like when a toddler creeps. Totality of the deep, the mere thought of an unconscious manifestation carried out with the beat. Positive charged protons creating neural explosions. Time hiccups when fingers and pads touch. Dead air smiles because it knows what's coming. The countenance of the clock claps hands. The choreography of the knot slaps jams. And you be like, who made this? Vertebrae responding to the call so bad to make a B girl curve the wall. Hey now. Yo, what up, Ra? How you doing, Patrick? <laughs> How are you? Yo, I'm feeling, yo, as 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 Plies would say, I'm feeling lovely. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay. Music playing in the background. So, he's a Merry Christmas. All right. <laughs> hey. hey everybody. Um, I'm Rob Brown. That would be Patrick Washington or Black Picasso. Because um, we we um we in the house we in the place to be. I, I'm looking for some uh some poets to do their thing, which would be great. Look at that, two just popped up. Boom! Asking you shall receive. Yes, We're gonna yes. Hold welcome, welcome to uh, Words Beats in Life open mic uh, on this good Wednesday before um my birthday on the 14th. But it ain't about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Before we, you know, before we bring it in on the New Year tip, yes. we're going to the mic. I've been, I've been doing poetry all week. I've been writing. I've been um, teaching and and being taught some really valuable um, lessons, inspired by some really great. There, there's Damari. That's what's up. Inspired by some really great young people. Um, Ajay and Damari did their thing yesterday. They tripped me out. Ugh, it was so great. So I'm glad to see y'all here. What's up, Zay? What it do? What it do? So we're gonna we're gonna get it popping like really soon. Um, yeah, let's just do it like that. We have three right now. People uh, coming to the room backstage. Hey, hey, hey! No, nah, no, nah. we got more than three. We got five poets. Don't don't, okay, don't, don't yes. short yourself. Thank you. I love that. That's what we do. Okay, <laughs> that's what we do. That's what it. Do. Okay, we got five people to do their thing this evening, and uh, we're gonna get it popping right away. And uh, I think the first person that popped up on my screen was Zay. That's Xavier. So let yeah. him go ahead and kick it off for us. You know what I mean? Let's welcome him to this sound stage here, right? Yeah, audience. Uh, we are we are our audience too. So let's welcome Zay to the microphone first. Zay, do your thing, baby. All right, back. When the snow falls today. It's the first time in two years that DC had a major snowstorm. Today is also the day my father passed. The most time I ever spent with him were the days we shoveled snow for money. The last time we went to shovel, the last time we went to shovel those little white crystals off of driveways in Georgetown, he asked me for my cut so he could buy little white crystals. My father did not die from an overdose, but the drugs didn't help his heart attack. To say, today I search for something, anything, that I could draw from. I wish you were there more. Maybe this poem would be easier to write. Eight years ago, you told me you were leaving. Eight hours ago, my mom told me you were gone. Eight years ago, I listened to my mom cry enough to cleanse the Anacostia River. Eight hours ago, I called my brother and heard him do the same. Ain't this just like you? 
leaving people you leaving people who love you with a leaking face. I never forgave you for eight years ago, but eight hours ago I cried in silence because two days ago you called my phone and the, conver the conversation lasted 16 seconds. And in my rush to end the call, I'm not sure you heard me say I love you too. The storm stopped a few hours ago, but the wind keeps pushing the little white crystals off the trees. It looks like it's still snowing. That's it. Yo, yo, why are you, why are you uh, delivering these haunting, haunting poems, yo? That, that was, is, that was incredible. That was I, so, so amazing. Eight years ago, you left. Eight hours ago, you did the same, bro. I, brilliant, 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 brilliant simplicity. I, I absolutely I love it. Zay, that was dope. I cannot hear y'all. Oh. Well, yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. It was great. That was great. That was great. Thank you for that. Patrick, you want to call the next um, young person, young artist? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we go back. We go back like like recliners, like fat crayons. Like cornrows. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yes. The homie. The homie. Uh, India Ajay. Where are you? This is. Yes. Hey. Hi. Hey. I said a prayer for the woman who is to greet me once I give birth. I said a prayer for the woman fleeing from me now. May we open up our senses to feel more, feel the frequencies that attune our temples like cathedrals. May flavors and spices travel us all across the lands of our mother's tongue. What lessons will I learn exploring the world without one of my senses? This evening, I made a dish and it transported me to the moment I first explored the flavors of Thai food. I had an out of body experience, one that will live in my spirit and honor a quest to connect with my ancestry beyond what I've been told. I looked into my eyes and went with what I feel. Been doing that more these days. Spoke with the man I experienced as my partner today. Brother shared with him of how I'm progressively losing my sight in my left eye and that I'm scared of the transition into rather than being without 2020 vision. He offered me comfort, support, and assuredness that this experience will bring about healing remedies. I appreciate him not desiring to fix me, rather journey alongside me. I pondered on all the things I've seen, all the things I've yet to see, and said, you know, I can accept the experience of feeling my way through. I'm grateful for the unearthing, bringing me closer to my spirit and all the things we take for granted, our flesh, that we yet to embrace it as a tool to feel more intensely, swiftly, just like that. One moment I'm writing words seen on the page, the next my hands are forming clay telling the same story. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm doing this with everybody. I feel like <laughs> the conversation that is a delivery. Yo, yes. I, yo, the storytelling. You know what that felt like? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you know, it felt to me like walking through a garden, you know, hand in hand, you know, like telling, yeah, I felt that. I felt that. It just, it just, it just felt like you know, transparency and vulnerability. I, I live my life that way, so my conversations are that way. My conversations are calm, even when I'm cussing you out, and that's how that, that's how that was. It was like that. Yo, seriously, it was like that. You know, oh, I love it. Okay, thank you. No I doubt. love you. No doubt, I love you too, sis. Is that all? Is that all I can share? Is that um, all my time for now? Right yeah, we're coming back to you. We'll come back around for sure. Hey, bro, I don't know if you've met her. You probably have. I think she might have mentioned your name. So I got to get her up here, though, because she's she's a, she's she's alive. Not just living, but alive. Like, you know what well, I mean? I know you're talking about. I know you're talking about. You know, she brings it every time. And I absolutely enjoy her. She's absolutely hilarious, too. She goes by MK, the poet. Um, Y'all got to show her some love, yo. MK is a trip. Show her some love and, and, and welcome her to this stage next, please. Where did she go? Did she disappear on us? <laughs> there she is. There she is. 
Okay. Okay. She's thinking about okay. it. She's thinking about it. Okay. Okay. Are you there? What is this? MK. I MK, can I just hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. We just introduced you. Um, I just said, talked about how you can were you just. Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Talked about how live you are. It's like a how, bad delay. I don't know why. We talked about how, how live you are, how, how dope you are as a poet. I introduced you to the stage next. So please take the take the mic and do your thing. Okay. This is called Rough Around the Edges. It's about everything that happened in my life. My dad was a drunk. Always sipping on that Hennessy, and I would love to go back and change what he did to me. And all the stuff that happened, I remember vividly because I dwell every day. That's what those flashbacks did to me. But it's okay because I know that I'm a soldier. And I get stronger each day that I get older. And each day that I think back, my heart gets cold, and my dad walked in my life, and I didn't even get closure. But now I'm working two jobs, my ambition up to the ceiling. Sometimes I love too hard because the lies, they sound appealing. See, I try to keep up, but then my head starts spinning. I don't worry about the pain because I'm popping and I'm winning. They say the early bird get the worm, but I seem to wake up late. When I showed up to the cookout, I couldn't even eat a plate. They say I didn't deserve it. So as a kid, I never ate. Arguing with my conscience, it felt like the great debate. My dad was a fool. He locked me up in the closet. He deprived me of food because I was not honest. And that's no excuse to knock a kid unconscious. But I thought it was my fault, so I argued with my conscience, and then I started to think everything was my own fault. Even when my dad locked the freezer with a dead ball, I had to eat bologna by myself, because the bread gone. Couldn't put sugar in my cereal, so I had salt. And then it get worse, I had to sleep in a dog pen. I wasn't allowed out, and no one else allowed in. And he knew that this was cruel and unusual punishment, but he didn't care that harm and the child was a sin. He's so crazy because he didn't want no babies, Will. He only wanted sons, and he told me this daily, and the world is full of a lot of things, a lot of ifs, a lot of maybes, and maybe one day he'll start to treat me like a lady at the age of 13. I could have sworn my name was Ho. No, that's not my name, but that's what he called me, though. He made me feel like no one wanted me for sure, and then he proved his point one day by walking out the door. He dropped me off one day and left me with my mom. A stranger that I never knew. So I tried to stay calm. She started spitting Bible verses like Corinthians and Psalms. This woman had the key to my life in her palm. Since I was three, I always lived with my dad. Had no recollection of my mom, so that was sad. So I gathered up all the courage that I had to ask my mom, why you leave me with a man so bad? She claimed she gave me up out of love. She couldn't do her best because of her choice of drug. But she gave me to a person that didn't even give me hugs. Sometimes I wish she aborted me to the God above. And it's crazy how my mom would tell me stories. And she would promise me that I would never have to worry. That she would make my future bright for me. But that was last because i never seen the glory. I lived with my mom for two months. Then got put out. Got put in foster care because she knocked me out. Was quick to put her hands around my neck without a doubt. And the neighbors for my pain because they heard me shout. Now I struggle being a ward of the state. Where the government don't love, all they do is hate. Go from house to house with no food on my plate. But as soon I can see the heaven gates, I try to stay strong with all my might. Then I even try to take my own damn life. Because I'm so sick and tired of putting up a fight and the stuff that happened to me wasn't right. Now people saying that my heart's so cold. Then I'm going to die lonely when I get old. I feel like a slave that was not good enough to be sold. But when my words come out, you would think I'm so bold. See, I'm black and I'm beautiful. Please don't call me wild. And just because I'm hurt don't mean I express it out loud. I wish I could escape and float on a cloud. Forget you. I'm about to make God proud. But it's not like me to want to be who I'm not and try to pretend. I'm my own ride or die. I've been there since it's began. And I know it's kind of long, so it's about to end. But I need to get this on my chest so you know who I am. 22 years I've been struggling since I was put on this earth. But I've been a star. I had Tyler since birth. See, I get tired of the pain because sometimes it hurts, but I never let nobody devalue my worth. I love her. I told you. Yo. Hey, the poet. Yo, wait a minute. So, so, yo, that, that joint, um, I'm kind of baffled. Yo, man, that joint felt like a handful of lava. It was heavy and it was hot, burning hot. Yeah, um, yeah there was you know, so much truth and beauty and pain. And that, yo, you said, felt like a slave that couldn't be sold. Yo, 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 love you, love you, MK. 
MK the poet. Wow. Thank you for that, sis. I, I, yeah, thank you for that. Yes. Patrick, who you got? Shoot, I need thank a break, you yo. For allowing me. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Yes. Oh, yo. Okay, yo. Oh, the yo, the other homie. Yes, yes, yes. Um Are you delayed? Are you freezing? What's going on? Hey, hey, hey. What's going um, on? I had some I had some connection issues. Sorry about that. Okay. I was yelling the name. I I yelled it out. I said Damari. Get it in, baby. Get it in. Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay. I'll start out late and then I get you the other one when you come back around. So this is titled Black Girl. Uh, it was a colon response, but COVID. So, you know, black girl, black girl, yeah, that's me. I'm the one they hate and then when they wish they could be. I'm bigger than big. I'm better than bad. I'm blacker than black. You know, the skin don't crack unless they don't crack. Hey, yo, crack is whack. But I must be some type of drug because they keep on coming back. Contrary to popular belief, being black is where it's at. Black girl, black girl, yeah, that's me. Hair so big, so beautiful. I don't associate with her. Style so fresh, so cool. You know I'm all that. And the bag of chips. Just in case I got to get saucy. No, not more than I'm talking about Lori's black girl, black girl. Yeah, that's me. Full meal, package deal. No, sir, you can never substitute the real. Whole kill, we broke the seal. Wonder how it made you feel. Black girl, black girl. Yeah, that's me. I'm the daughter of greatness, ambassador for excellence. My talents are heaven set. Why would anything else be relevant? See, I keep them on their toes. I keep them all guessing. Have it stopped my growth and I'm grateful for my blessings. Studying the grace, brushing up on all my lessons. Now that I have your attention, please listen to this message. Black girl, black girl. Yeah, that's me. Black girl, black girl. Yeah, that's you. But to sit on your magic should be considered a felony. Don't let the foolishness distract you from your destiny. We putting in work day by day to build our legacy. I'm putting in work day by day to be a better me. Black girl, black girl. Black girl, black girl. Black girl, black girl. Yeah, shorty, that's me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. The black, girl, black. black girl, black, not so much a girl no more, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, nice. Yo, do you got a B for that? No, I do everything a cappella. <laughs> oh my god, look, producers need to be tracking you down for that. Yo, that was dope. Incredible. What do we have right here? Who is this to my left? Is that Jor? Is that say does that say Joran? That's what it said. Okay, I said it right. That's what's up. You're coming to the mind. The homie Joran. Oh, you know more. Okay, Jordan. yeah. Give him the give him the intro. Okay. Well, yo, please, please welcome. Um, yo, the the poet ambassador repping uh yo, the county out here in PG. This is Joran. Uh, can I go? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, okay. I remember your laugh, the tone of your voice, the way your mouth curled up on one side and your eyebrow and your eyebrows furrowed when you didn't. When, well, let me start. I remember your laugh, the tone of your voice, the way your mouth curled up on one side and your eyebrows furrowed when something didn't make sense. I remember your loud exclaims whenever you would beat me in something. You never let me win. I always had to earn it. I remember you sneaking me in the movies we didn't pay for. I remember you forcing me to get on roller coasters I was too afraid to ride, telling me not to be afraid of nothing but God. Turns out I actually had fun. I remember crying in my room thinking about my dad. Where was he? Why didn't he call? Did he love me? Why didn't he love me? Why and how was I so different from his other kids? A middle child from that man's sperm, but from those eyes never seen as his. I remember crying in my room thinking about my dad. And then you, my mom, my own mother walks into the room and says, why are you crying? I told you I was crying about my dad. You sighed, clearly annoyed. You basically told me to get over it and left me. She left me, leaves me to figure it out on my own. She's tired of me crying over a man that ain't never done nothing for me. She made sure there were other good men in my life, other male role models, other good examples of what a man is supposed to be. Although she was a super single mom, she was still a single mom. A single parent in a world where I was told a good household has two parents. Two parents to share the load and burdens caused by their children. Two parents to share the glory when their kids excel. I remember my stepdad yelling at me to go open the door. I remember the 
deafening ambulance sirens. I remember the EMTs running up the stairs. I remember sitting in the kitchen crying because I didn't know what was going on, time passes. I remember one EMT in particular following the line of the rest of them walking back towards their ambulance. The man glances at me, silently shakes his head and proceeds to walk down the stairs and out the door. I remember hearing a scream, a scream so intense and alive that I thought the life had been reborn back into the air, back into your lungs. I thought you'd woken up. I remember my stepdad entering the kitchen and grabbing my head with, his, with tears on his face. He walked me to the room and said, join your mom's dad. I said, what, and cried. I remember family members and neighbors trickling in, all of them too late. I recall my grandfather screaming, why not me? My aunt crying, my uncle punching the wall. I remember being in a slight state of disbelief, looking at her eyes somewhat ajar. The corners of her mouth curled up on one side, similar to the face she made when something didn't make sense. Similar to how the situation doesn't make sense. How was she here one minute and gone the next? I just talked to her less than an hour ago. I want to go back to the days of getting ice cream and playing card games, not putting roses and pictures in your casket. This just doesn't make sense. What kind of God takes away 12-year-old girl's only parent, her single parent, her best friend, her biggest supporter, and leaves her to figure things out on her own? Thank you. Ooh. Wow. You, um, yeah, that's heartbreaking. It, it gives me goosebumps. It's like... Yeah, I can't. There's some that's some, some poems that you just can't even describe, you know, because it's too real. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate this open mic, everybody. I love it. I like um, I like truth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like truth and honesty are not synonymous. You know, honesty is based on somebody's feelings, right? The truth is what it is, which is why they say the truth hurts. So I appreciate. It. I love it. Zay, you start. You kicked it off too, bro. You the the, the truth in your piece was just. So you kind of, you know, you, you led that wave and we riding it, we riding it. All right, we got, we got one more poll before we pickle, before we do yeah, this. Yeah, 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 one more, one more, then loop back around. Um, wrapping yes. up the first set is gonna be my man, Bass. The poet. Bass. <laughs> How low can you go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Bass, that was a great intro we just did, bro. Where are you? Right, right. Take take yourself off mute. Come on, come on. We just did the whole, you know, how low can you? We did the whole joint, son. You ain't, all right. All right. I apologize for what it can. All right, there it is. The revolution will be televised. Said the other 15 poets. Said the other 30 activists. The hundreds of black protesters and thousands of Twitter tweets. I'm not mad at it. I just believe this revolution needs a new notion for its existence. Because see, it has been televised for the past 400 years. In fact, until 1865, our ancestors were beaten just to get our rights. By 1968, they was fighting just so we could keep those rights. And now in 2021, we fighting as a reminder. That we still got those rights. We don't got no right. How many countries can say they got a president? Pardon me, I mean X. That'll look at a peaceful protest and tell us we don't have no right. Since we're thugs for marching in the name of our people who lost their lives for being human. How are we going to live in a society where our POTUS won't fight for us? Where our own police don't like us? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Because I know you sworn off too. How are they going to protect us surrounded by all these coat racks and all they know how to do is hang us? It's human nature at its best. To view a tribe of people so low in numbers, extinction is knocking at our door, and instead of saving us with genocide on your mind, eradication was the answer. Label it as gentrification, but pronounce the word as sustaining the community. Because everyone wants to hear soft words before they die. But frankly, I'd, ra I'd rather hear the roar of lions on a mountaintop before I go. I, I want to watch our people reach heights they've never imagined. I don't want to leave this earth while knowing there is still work to be done. Our people are disrespected, beaten, patronized, and murdered like rabbit dog, like rabbit hound in broad daylight. No wonder they call us animals and steal everything that we believe to be ours. See, I thought poaching was legal. To take our style, our swag, our lips, our drip, our skin. If this blackness is a work of art, then my people be a masterpiece. We are not for your imitation. 
Our bodies are the soil of this land and fresh blood has always kept these grounds fresh. I heard they were given reparations in North Carolina. But frankly, we don't deserve it. Those on our bodies who were beaten till bloodstained bones shone through, we were born free. Into a society that wants to strip that freedom away from us once again, I think not. I think this is worth fighting for again. I think I will put my life on the line for my future. I think that if we stand united, there's nothing that can stop us. I think the Muslim folks who did at the Capitol would have gotten us all killed. So as I look back on the history of this country, I wonder, is death not worth the price of freedom? That's all. No, oh, did he just like, did he like cut the camera? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, that, 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 that's, no, that's, that's the virtual, that, that's, that's the virtual face. mic drop. That's, that's the virtual doing, mic drop. That's what you do? Okay, okay, I see you, bro. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. So, I'm not mad at it. Yo, that was I what I wanted to say. You know, yeah, with <laughs> all that happened, you know, at the Capitol, man, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of poems, you know, addressing the uh the uh inequity, you know, that you know, the obvious inequities, man. And that's that that was a great one. That was that was perfect. Thank that was you for awesome. that. That was awesome. Let's just go back. Let's just go. Oh, yeah, oh, show my base. Let's just go right back around the same way we 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 uh we started, right? We got Zay. Then I think everybody remembers who they went after, right? If not, we'll, we'll, I'll help you out. We'll help you out. Zay, you got something for us, bro? Yeah, jump in there, babe. Can you hear me okay? You're up, sweetheart. Muted. All right. Okay. okay. There we go. Got you. All right. The news says they killed the baby today. I guess you can't have a real war about casualties. I mean, what's the war about the Reaper? Without angels that were born to die about these little American soldiers. Too young to claim any team, too young to have to choose to be a warrior, to choose to serve the same streets that took away his father, murdered her mother, empty bottles by that lamppost, teddy bears hung on that tree. These are our memories for the fallen, but they were aware of the conflict does not matter. A bullet has no name even when the eye dies. This is the horror of warfare. When you see so much bloodshed, you start wondering where it's flowing from. Thank you. Yeah. Risk. Hard hitting and um concise. That was stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about um, you know, he's talking about that. That was the the shooting. The yeah, shooting the of that, yeah. Yeah, that baby, man. That's yeah. yeah. Definitely a, a slice of reality. Thank you. That was crazy. Thank that was really crazy. I do believe Ajay was next. Is that right, Pat? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say, yeah, there you go. Let's keep these, let's keep these um at like three minutes or less, y'all, if you can. Three All minutes right. is this? Okay. Outsourcing, equivalent, to selling out your soul. Your soul is the source of all I are. Don't just see beyond the parameter set for you, feel your way through. Can you feel the blood swishing through your veins? Did you tell the blood to go or to stop? or the veins to enlarge or burst or remain as is. No, you just trusted the blood and the veins to have this seamless relationship to be so well acquainted with another's assignment that they never forget their own. Humans have forgotten. They don't even want to muster the will to remember the obvious. Because then they have to question every story, lesson, construct, law, identity embedded into their essence like seasoned cast irons. Yeah. Mm. I think the appearance of blooming is what gives the perception of perception of the flower's beauty. Perfect, soft, ornamental, 
petals with such vibrance coming undone to be seen, to give sustenance to the mariposas and bees all while sunbathing. However, what isn't seen nor felt is the stretching of that flower from seed to root to stem to leaf to bud to blooming to full bloom. It is destined perfection awaiting its arrival to its full glorious nature. Somewhere along the journey, I think the flower in transition knew that it would be underappreciated by those who adored them for a bloom and accepted and found solace in preservation. This has me thinking about where I have been planted from seed and all the stretching really in one direction, light giving rid the illusions that it was different. It wasn't. Still had the same vibration. So I embrace preservation. And now as I am in bloom, it's like standing on the edge of forever, which is now holding my breath. And then I'm winded by a gust of courage and my petals that have been in bloom are now open for nature to take its course. Honestly, I dreaded this just as much as I dreamed for it. Seeing a lot of myself reflected back to me and most of my fondest teachers have been through the ones who showed me the muck of myself through their actions. You see, it was unprocessed traumas of the ones marrying together. I could not decipher mine from theirs. It came to a point where I no longer desired to. I just wanted resolution, real fucking solutions because there are some beautiful, divine, otherworldly reflections that are worthy of being reflected back to me as well. I'm worthy of that. Worthy of blooming, not wondering if I'll be severed from my roots and placed in a jar of water only to have my external beauty, beauty preserved for a few days. <laughs> yo, 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 you got the adults in the back, in the back going, yo, bars. <laughs> Bars, yo. <laughs> that was more, but I felt like I was going over my time, so I, I left it there. Yeah. Indeed. I appreciate it, though. That was dope. Extra dope. MK, where you at, baby? There you go. All right, keep it about three yeah. minutes. Do your thing. All right, uh, dang. All right, this call called 10 Toes Down. For the bush, I don't got no time, man. I've been grinding a lot of shit. On my mind, and I'm trying to unwind, and I keep picturing the times. Nobody had my back but my spy. So if I ever said I trust you, then, baby, I was lying. And you saying that it's fine, that I'm going to be all right. You said, baby, girl, sit tight. I don't have to fight for my rights because it's light outside and it's more days to come so take a little off and have fun you don't ever have to run but i can't because everything not cool i've been playing for a fool and i'm tired of getting used that's cruel and i didn't want to do this but it's time to face the music so let's use it i can't do this anymore or at least i shouldn't have to growing up without love i thought at least i have you but I guess that I should have known that you would leave me all alone and not even pick up the phone. And your excuse is that I'm grown. See, I'm just a young lady. I had to grow up fast. I didn't get time to be your baby. And that's crazy. But it's something I can't change. And I've been hoping for the best, but things keep staying the same. And that's lame. And I'm not the one to blame. I feel like a wild animal who the system's trying to tame. And things keep getting worse. But I expected that, of course. Because who can love me unconditional even when I'm at my worst? Nobody. And sometimes I feel like not even God, because he put me on this earth and he making me work so hard for the things that I need, like love and affection. Why he put me on this earth and ain't give me no protection? That's wild. But I'm still going to make him proud. And I can't help that the voices in my head be loud and it's foul that I feel alone in the crowd. But I had to make the change in my way somehow. And yeah, I used to play the victim, but you don't know how it hurts. And all that I've been through, yeah, it could be worse. I could be in the streets with no shoes or no shirt. I could be dead and end up in a hearse and not be alive. But my heart is too kind for people to be on my mind and not be there. And they just act like they care. And when it comes to my story, I don't mind to share. But life is about lessons. See, you live and you learn. And nothing is for free. Everything you have to earn. And one day I will burn and be ashes in the urn. But until then, I'll find someone who make me smile. He gonna put me first and say I'm pretty and never put me down. God will send him my way and keep him in my life a while. Today, I'm here to stay. And everyone who said they love me they just left me at the stake to pin me up and burn me down because they were never around but no matter what i'll keep my head up and i'm gonna always be 10 toes down like 10 toes down you better know it yo and nobody had my back with my <laughs> spine <Bro. Yo. laughs> <laughs> hey Yo, yo, uh, all due respect, all due respect to Amanda Gorman, yo, yo, you're gonna be my my favorite youth uh poet. 
Yo, man, that was dope. You should have been you should have been spitting at the Super Bowl and at the inauguration. That was dope. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, we 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 got you, sis. We got you. Got you. Yeah. We got you. That was dope. Who came up after MK, bro? Um, uh, uh, was it Damari? Was it, was it Damari? I believe so. Yes. Let's go. Yay. All right. So this is titled "The Generational Speech." They gonna say you got it twisted, young buck. But you got this whole thing messed up. That standing with your back straight don't make you no more great. They scared that you ain't phased by all that hate. They gonna question why you keep your head high. They gonna want you afraid to die. Cause how you ain't afraid to die? Don't you know they'll pop you where you stand? And they ain't gonna give you no pillows to make you softer when you land. It almost reminds me of if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear, does it make it sound well? Whether I hear it or not, you like that tree is gonna hit that ground and you like that tree ain't gonna have nobody around and you like that tree will remain breathless bodies waiting to be found. They gonna say you got it twisted, young buck. But you got this whole thing messed up. They standing with your back straight don't make you no more great. They scared that you ain't phased with all that hate. They gonna question why you keep your head high. They gonna want you afraid to die cause how you ain't afraid to die? You looking like a walking target in a gun range. And you don't seem to be afraid of that new chain becoming red with your blood stains. I need you to explain. What type of context you use to get that fear out of your eye? Why can't I see your tears when you cry? What happened to that tremble in your thigh? Who sold you the wings that allowed you to fly? Where'd you get the energy to get back up and try? I think you got it twisted, young buck. You weren't supposed to get back up. You weren't supposed to make no noise, fight or fuss, and didn't your mama told you not to cuss, young buck? Who told you hope exists? Did they tell you that they ain't gonna hesitate to slap cuss around your wrist that to battle you in, you can't win with your fist, that your face already been printed on the shoot to kill list that they tell you that time's always been like this. Now when you think we made a change, history rolls right back around and switches its face at the strange food you eat and still gonna have a sour type of taste at times ain't gonna stop being like this. Cause every time we try, the outcome seems smaller than the risk. Cause we give in when the problem don't have an easy fix. Cause every time we stand, they beat our knees until we sit, but it ain't your fault. And them peoples, they weren't born with hate that was taught. Some of them ain't gonna stop till your body end up outlined in chalk, but see God only gives the worst summer to those who can handle the hot young buck. Stand tall with your back straight. Know that that hate will not determine your fate. Continue to be great. Hold your head up high. Set all your trials and tribulations in their eye and tell them your old folks say everything going to be all right. I said, tell them your old folks trained you well for this fight. Tell them your old folks tell you that everything dark going to make its way to the light, young buck. I can only prepare you so much for this life. Before you leave my house, you're going to know what's wrong or what's why you may not understand why now. But you're sure enough going to understand when you're the one passing this speech down. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yo, it doesn't stop. Yo, it doesn't oh. stop. Yo, you put us right in that conversation. You, you yo, like transported us. Dope. That was incredible. You wanna, you wanna go, go these, go these people, ain't you? Yeah. 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 I see it. I see it. That's what's up. Oh, Thank oh, you. Oh, she did that with Goldie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the she... homie. What did I say? What did I say to you yesterday? I was like, Yo, you would be a great actress. Like her, the delivery. I didn't know you was down with Goldie. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. you let her know you down with us now. Okay. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Who is next on the MIC? I believe that would be. Uh, wait a minute. What was the name again? What's her name? Patrick, please help me out. Take you off mute, bro. Uh, Joran. Jordan? Jordan, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Damar. There you are. What's happening, Jordan? Uh, um, this one is called An End to Misery. Um, I blast my music to distract me from the ever-looming depression storm brewing in my mind and heart. But my tears leave my eyes without my permission and burn the cuts in my wrist. Mom tells me I just do it for attention, implying if I really wanted to do something, I would do it. Dad's voice echoes in my mind, don't ever hesitate. Although he was talking about driving, not dying. Although maybe he could give advice on that too. When he cooked me breakfast and told me I was his reason for living, that I was his life, I wonder if he meant it. Cause if so, I would have to ask why he did it. Did he dream of me? Did I flash before his eyes? Did he spend so much time sleeping his life got jealous and killed him. I wonder if he knew he would try to permanently go to sleep while telling me to be strong when I scratched my knees on concrete or when I flooded my pillow sheets with tears after finding out my crush didn't like me as much as I did them. When we went to church 
And he told me we partake of Jesus' body to remember when he sacrificed himself on Calvary to atone for our sins. I wonder if he sacrificed himself to atone for mine. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but whatever made you feel like I was better off without you must have been the worst one because you were always my warmonger. You were the steady tree holding me above the floods. You were my spine holding me upright. Sometimes what doesn't kill you just makes you weak. We speak as if trauma is a rite of passage and not a scar, as if it's not a hard to swallow pill that can make some choke. You called me your pretty girl and now you're sitting casket pretty. You always said how much my messy room made you feel cramped. So I wonder how you feel in your coffin. And if you'll make friends in Cemetery City, I wonder if you can still dream of me wherever you are. I was playing with my life while you were here and now that you're gone, I feel like I'm the only part of you that's left. Without you, I'm free falling through this world until you and sleep catch me, but for you, I will live. I will brave the storm of life with you as my backbone forever holding me upright. Thank you. Doreen. Doreen, you have such an innocence, like a sweetness in your in your um your words, like where they come from. You know, seriously, like you know, it makes me wanna because there's the sweetness in it. I don't know what touches me. Yes. I appreciate yes. it. I appreciate that. Thank you. And some I don't I don't oftentimes in my own pain find any like a lot of sweetness, even in my delivery, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can definitely appreciate that. What's going on? Salam, who is is it base? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're back back to base. Back to basics. Base. Ba no, I right. see. I see what you did. Yeah, I see. Maybe we'll have a little bit of time to share some stuff. Patrick, you might have something you want to share with us. <laughs> anyway, base is gonna do <laughs> base is gonna do his thing. Get it going. All right. <clears throat> Words of a cheater. To keep it a G dog, I don't even think I deserve love anymore. I mean, it used to be, I think, it, me thinking my heart was contagious. Come to find out my words were just infectious, but the truth never escaped my lips. Seemed too easy to rearrange and alter vocabulary in ways that a mockingbird would hate, which is why I prefer puppets to make it easy. Because unlike that mockingbird, a puppet can't use my own words against me. I'm unreasonable. It's child's play to get what I want when no girl I've been with can say that second word, no. And the worst part about it is sometimes, to be honest, I'm proud of it because I've been played too. I've had my heart stepped on so hard, I felt like I got stomped out by Shaquille O'Neal wearing Tim's doing a step routine. Had me feeling disgusted with myself and lack of trust in my, my brain and decision making. A lot of you always head over heels in the start, but it's amazing how one mistake can turn you from the love of my, my knife to the stoop that broke my feelings about it. You gave me hope as true love about you gave me hope about true love being real the way you made me feel. You really had me in class daydreaming about lunch together and looking at your pretty face and those dark still eyes that I could, that couldn't, that could see through my bull at any angle. Like you really me over. Nowadays I turn to laying whoever I see fit, even if it requires snatching their heart and breaking it into a trail of breadcrumbs and hopes they will follow. And no surprise they always do because lying has gotten too easy for me. But that's not cool. I stand here before you attempting to atone for my behavior because I want to be better. I want to be able to fall in love so deep with someone to wear a cheap vanishes from my vocabulary. I want to be someone's whole heart and they is mine. I want something special that no one can take away from me. And I can never lose it. But until that comes, but until that day comes, just watch my movements. Yeah, yeah, kicking open the door. Face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like bro. that. I like, I like that. that. Thank you. It's real cool. Very cool. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you, bro. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Indeed. What we doing? How we feeling? What you look like? You look like? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. This was great. Um, these are some extremely talented um artists, poets, writers, um, MCs, even. We learned yes. that tonight. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. So um I'm, I'm sincerely, I'm sincerely thankful to actually be here and to have witnessed that, like for real. Yeah, it was eye opening. Yeah, eye opening. Um, someone asked how oh. often is this open mic? Um, well, 
you know, it's kind of when Patrick and I say, let's do an open. No, I'm just playing. How often is this open mic, Patrick? <laughs> it's uh, essentially every two weeks. Yeah. Essentially every two weeks. So uh, Wednesday after next, we'll be back. Okay. Okay. I said, <laughs> it's, I said, essentially, I said essentially whenever you and I decide and my decision. Right. <laughs> well, I was like, that was news to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, um, if you, if you want to, if you want to, we have a few moments. You I'll know do what I mean? Some. I'll do something. Yeah, I'll do a little something too. So go ahead. Damn, through to me quick. All right. Um, so this is one. It's old, but it's uh, timely. <clears throat> Finally. Ozone rips wide and emits war rumors and everything seems to cause tumors like eggs, nanoxol, nine orgasms, the tick ticking of time and grease. And I'm not supposed to feel like every second has a nefarious diabolic byline or Orwellian design because underneath Tuskegee apologies grow animosity. Ignorant non-believers submit to pure reflex, but I never could internalize, pacify by all the lies that I was taught in elementary school, and no one dares to go against the Illuminati news shows, the Princess of Wales, embarrass the royal, so off another goes. And I'm not supposed to think he's everywhere, robbing urbanites of their lives. Electric radar spying on future troublemakers. Hell eventually delivers, and Robert Kennedy never even saw the shot. Pow, ooh. Follow this hysteria. I see waves of radiation leaks devouring a nation. So don't anyone go anywhere. Indeed. Nostradamus saw that a new sect of philosophers is rising in time using apocalyptic lines, words, and creative kinds. So evil's defeated? Nah. Evil succeeds. See, indeed, no one here is going to heed because people all laugh at conspiracies that everyone sees. And therein lies the conspiracy, see? Call it an anagram or whatever, but the first letter of every word I just said spelled out Ephesians 6 chapter, the 12th verse. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Thank you. I was on mute, my bad. I said, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, 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 that, that was an old paranoia joint. Yeah, I remember that joint. So, um, okay, so now I'm going to introduce my homie. Yo, my heart, we go back. We go we go way back further than, than Fat Crayons. It's, it's like, we go back like, it's your mug. We go back before, we, we go back before uh, uh, Mangoes. When U Street was really U Street, <laughs> the one and only Raquel Brown. Hey, Demari says she got the glasses on. Yes, yeah, sis. I got to do it sometimes, you know? <laughs> Folks watching the glass pour the sand. Once I had a man read my life on the lines of my palm, so I know I got time on my hands. This land is mine and I belong to it. A ticking time bomb blown into tidbits of sound bite cells and quick wit. Big up to the trees, ain't no one to leave. Wave goodbye, hello on the breeze. Stand, stand in constant praise to the powers that be. I love the dance and their fascinate, fascinating tragedy. One time this youngin told me I'm always writing about love or the man. He was locked up. So I looked at him and said, you know, I love you and I'll see you next week. And he still didn't understand. My pops say everything is relative and where I stand is, is exactly where I am. We all make it so deep. We worship a shepherd, fall in love with wolves, and, be, and fear being f buried six feet. X equals love in this algebraic algorithm. Yet love seems to be the only thing missing, relatively speaking. Love is constant, like complaining for some. Love is God, like praying for some. I trek the globe, but try to take my time and pace it all. Listen more than I speak, so when the mountains toss the valley, I can face it all and land on my feet. I've been on my knees just one, proposing that I exchange my ring of fear for destruction, destroying value systems that have none, value that is. I mind the lane I'm in. There's no traffic. I'm solo on this route. I mean, I may cross some weird wonders of this world, so I get to show off my fly ass shoes. This dunya be my oyster, and I don't eat seafood, though I always seem to find the pearl. Pearls. That's what black girls are. Why we walk looking down? 
I follow myself in the sky, look for the dimly lit star. That's me, and I'm okay with that. I'm that night light in the cut with the baseball bat. Four pounds in the small of my back. I got rounds, like many more left in me. He read it in my palms. I'm, I told you that in the beginning, but who's really listening? I hear you. When I'm drowning, they describe the water, the poetry in my demise, the hate in so many eyes, eating away at blessings because it don't look like what they had in sight. The other despair lived by those that point to their head and tell you that it's in the mind. When you know mind, you know God. There's a brain in your head, a pillow on the bed. Rest there and think of no thing. Bring your hands together, embrace your life. This will all continue with or without us. It's just a matter of time. Raquel, Raquel, yeah. you will always be like a, yo man, a copper footed goddess just walking around dropping jewels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes, love it, love it. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yo, that was abs that was amazing. And and Molly put it yeah, everyone, y'all were amazing. Thanks so much for sharing your gift. You you really, really were. That was absolutely amazing. You know what I mean? Absolutely All amazing. Of you. All of you, you, yes. It was very last minute, but y'all show up and show out, and I love that. Yes, love yes. That. So everybody unmute yourselves, say good night to each other, and um Good night. Yes. Good night. Thank you all. This is WBL Open Thank World. You. Thank you, Patrick. No doubt. Yo, love Have you. Fun. Love you too, bro. Peace out. Peace out. To the SP1200, the blue light bulb, to the board, the engineer's hands, and the limited world of patience. Hallelujah to everybody say ho, amen to all the ladies say ow, thank God for make money, money, make money, money, and bless every hand that was ever put in the air in your name.